when we think about meditation, we usually think about emptying the mind. And that is part of the meditation, is learning how to empty the mind of the things that cause suffering. But before you empty the mind, you have to fill it up with good thoughts. All too often we come to the meditation with, with whatever thoughts we've been thinking throughout the day. Some of those are skillful, some of them are not. And you want to wash all of those out. One good way of doing that is to think thoughts of goodwill, that regardless of what people have done to you in the past or may do to you in the future, you want them to be happy. Not if they're doing anything skillf unskillful, but you're basically saying, I don't want to pose any danger to these people through my thoughts or my words or my deeds. This is one of the reasons I'm meditating, because all too often we're looking for our happiness outside in areas where there has to be conflict. We gain something somebody else has to lose. They gain, we lose. In a situation like that, when you take the, the losses all that seriously, then there's bound to be some ill will. But you can remind yourself that true happiness doesn't lie out there, it lies inside. And that's something nobody else can touch. It's totally yours. And so when you have that happiness inside, why would you want to wish ill for people outside? May they be happy, may they understand the causes for true happiness and act on them. But with the time being, we don't hold them any danger. And that's a good thought. Because otherwise you look at the world and it's dog-eat-dog. -dog. Then it gets pretty depressing if you look at it in that way. But you look at it saying, well, there, there are dogs eating dogs out there, but I don't have to be one of the dogs. I've got something better here. You hold that thought in mind, and it's a lot easier to put up with unpleasant things outside, because you've got something really good inside. If you don't have that something really good yet, okay, this is, this is your opportunity to go for it. Learn how to be with the breath, the sense of well-being that comes when you can breathe in a way that feels good throughout the body. Something you can tap into at any time. Try to develop that skill. And then it's what pulls you out of the dog-eat-dog -dog back and forth. And you can look at it for a little bit more sense of distance, a little bit more sense of objectivity. with real compassion for the people who are stuck there. If you can do anything to help them realize that there's another way out, so much the better. If not, well, at least you don't pose them any danger. That thought of being not dangerous is a good thought to keep in mind. It forms the foundation for all the rest of the practice. Generosity, virtue, concentration, meditation, all these things are not dangerous. That's the path that Buddha taught us, a path free of dangers. No dangers for ourselves, and we don't pose any dangers for anyone else. And as the Buddha said, when we give safety to everybody, we have a portion of that safety too. So it's good to fill the mind with these thoughts first before you empty everything out and just focus on the breath. Because otherwise the ordinary everyday thoughts tend to be pretty sticky. But this is a thought that it's like the, those glue dissolvers that dissolve the glue away, so those sticky thoughts don't have any hold. <laughs>